Hi and welcome to this instructional video all about saving and backup. Um, the saving and backup part um, of the Essential Skills IT portfolio, which um, if you're doing this and watching this video, you're very, very near to the end of the of the portfolio. Now it's very nearly finished, so well done. Only a couple more things to do. Um, this, um, although it's one piece of evidence, uh, this uh, saving and backup evidence, it does cover quite a few very important pieces of, uh, of IT skills, such as um, creating a folder to save your work in, uh, organizing files, uh, giving them good file names so that you can find them in the future very easily, uh, and also backing up uh, the file. And the definition of a backup is a second copy of a file in case you lose the first. So um, let's get started. So you can see here that I've opened two windows. Uh, and on the left hand side is uh, a window showing the contents of my uh, my my file store on the computer including at the top here you can see there's my essential skills IT folder and if I double click on that it opens there's all the work I've done this year in essential skills IT I'm just going to go back uh, one level there so you can see the folder um, and on the right hand side here you can see if you look up here this is uh, the G drive on my computer, the Corsair, that's actually my pen drive that I've plugged in. Uh, so you're going to need to uh, have your pen drive with you or um, or I can uh, I can lend you one for the purposes of this evidence. And you then have to open up these two windows side by side here. You can you can dock them uh, side by side there uh, and you're ready to do your saving and backup evidence. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this entire folder, this Essential Skills IT folder here, uh, on my pen drive, and that's very easy to do. You can uh, you can just drag and drop it over like that, uh, or you can copy and paste it. You can right click, copy and paste, or Control C and then Control V, whichever way you're used to. But um, what I've done then is I've made a, a complete, exact copy over here on my pen drive of my Essential Skills folder over here. And you can see if I open them both up, they're absolutely identical. Um, the only way you can tell them different, uh, tell them apart, is if you look up at the uh, the address bar here, and you can see this one is actually on my computer, whereas this one's on my pen drive, and that's that's my backup copy. I've made my backup copy there, and uh, I've now got a, a backup copy of all my files. So if I lose any of these files here on the right from uh, from my computer, then uh, I'll always have this copy over here of them, an exact copy. But we do need evidence that this has been done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a screenshot of this page and paste it into a Word document to prove that I've done it and then uh, add a, a little bit of explanation and that's the saving of backup evidence done. So uh, hitting print screen on the keyboard now. There, we've done a print screen there. And I'm going to open up a, a blank Word document and paste it in. Bef just before I paste it in though, I'm going to hit enter a couple of times uh, and add a heading of saving and uh, and backup. And then hit enter a couple of times. Actually, didn't I didn't need to hit enter a couple of times before I typed that, because then it won't be at the top of the page. But I've, I've hit enter a couple of times just to make a bit of room there for my uh, screenshot to go in. And then I can I can paste my uh, my screenshot in via like so. And then, uh, as you can see, then it's that's a very nice uh, way of getting evidence that you've not only done this, uh, but. Uh, uh, it is actually there is actually proof of it as well. Um, all you need to do then to finish off the evidence is add something uh, explaining what's going on in this screenshot here. And the things you need to be mentioning are the following in your explanation underneath your screenshot that you've just made. Uh, the following things uh, in your own words, about 100 to 150 words in total um, for the whole explanation, not for each bullet point here, but 100, 100 to 150 words in total. An explanation in your own in your own words that you saved all the work in one place to make it easier to find. And in order to do that, you created a folder called whatever you called it. In my case, I called it ESIT. You might have called it Essential Skills IT or something similar. Also, in your explanation, um, use the screenshot to prove that you've backed up your work, um, even if you've actually only done it once. Uh, you must say that you did it regularly. And finally, um, that you've used good file names as well. You can you'll be able to see from your screenshot. Uh, you should be able to see that you have used good file names, and the the the, um, 
the test of a good file name is that you can tell what that file is without having to open it. So if we go back uh, and have a look at the file names that I used, uh, when I did this work, you can tell exactly what each file is, element, table, there's no uh, confusion at all about what any of those files are. So, 100 to 150 words, in your own words, uh, proving that you've done those four things. So, I hope that um, this video will help you to, to do your saving and backup evidence. Um, I've got um, an example of a finished one as well that you can ask me for in class. Uh, uh, so, um, have a go at that and then uh, print it out in colour uh, and let me have it at the end of the lecture. And I'll see you uh, on the next instructional video.